<laughs> oh, poor little torchy. Fuck yeah. Heck yeah, dude. Ram pum It's different. It's different than all I remember. Hey! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages. Uh, I honestly hope that there's no kids watching. <laughs> Considering how much I swear. My name's Gatekeep, and welcome to my absolute most favoritest game in the entire gosh dang universe. Pokemon Emerald. I love this game. It is the first game that I ever owned for the Game Boy Advance. I have I got something for you. I got something for you. B B R B. Okay. I got I got I got the stuff. Okay. I got the thing. It's my OG, my actual legitimate Pokemon Emerald copy. I love it. The same exact one that I had when I was a kid. Of a, a young boy. And of course, obviously, I got you know, the Game Boy to go with it, clearly. And this one is a fancy boy. It's the uh, AGS 101 model, so it's got the fancier backlit screen. Oh, no, no. <laughs> So freaking good looking. But that's not why we're here today. I mean, it is, but it's not. We're not playing it on this. We're playing it on this. The big screen. In full, delicious, beautiful, I'm assuming RGB, beautiful video. Because it's sexy. Let's go the fuck. We're going to watch that. We're going to watch that. We're going to start us a new game, my dudes. I am obviously, if you can take a guess, Retro Arch. Best thing ever in the universe. I love it. Just playing with an Xbox controller, same as usual. Let's start us a new game, my dudes and or dudettes. First things first, let's change that stupid freaking frame. I don't know why I'd... I just thought the plain old boring ass frame. Though, uh, I, like, have not played a ton of this on, like, the, just the ROM file. I've beaten the game. Jesus, <laughs> probably four or five times now. I've completed the entire Pokedex, done pretty much everything you can. I think once, maybe twice. I can't remember. It's, it's been whatever it is. I've played it a lot, and I love this game. By far, my absolute favorite. I saved my own freaking money as a kid to buy this game when I was a kid. And uh, I don't remember what the hell it cost back then, but God, it was fun. But man, I love it every second of it. So I'll shut up now. Let's play some new gosh dang game. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. He looks like John Tron. <laughs> At least a little bit, like older John Tron. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch. He's awesome. Yeah, it's not Professor Oak in this one. None of that Gen 1 and 2 bullshit going on here. Just Professor Birch. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. He's just screaming it at you. Jesus. This is what we call a Pokemon. I, I've, I've heard some people around, some people pronounce it um, Pokemon, which I guess is technically correct because of the little accent above the E. It's just like, it, it, like, every time I hear it said out loud, it just sounds wrong to me. Probably because I'm the one who's wrong, and I just refuse to submit. But whatever. It's a Pokemon. It sounds cooler. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. That's a, that's a Lotad. He's, he's a good boy. 
We humans live alongside Pokemon at times as friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative workmates. And, uh, they didn't want me to tell you this, uh, in this amazing kids game, literally made for children. We sometimes use them as sex dolls. Shh, you didn't hear it from Professor Birch, okay? Fuck you. But despite our closeness, can you use a fucking mustache hair? <laughs> Get the fuck out of my mouth. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many secrets surrounding Pokemon. Sorry, many, many secrets around Pokemon. Sorry, I forgot that second many. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll be good. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? That's a good question. Who are we? Who am I? Better yet, who are you? The fuck out of my house. Uh, last I checked. Uh, hold on, I got, I got checked. Just a sec. Um. Uh. Those are, those are some balls. So, uh, pretty sure, yep, I'm a boy. That is confirmed. I do have a penis. What's my name? Shit. God, they got full of tax forms now. Oh, sucks. Uh. Good. I'm glad that it's just, like, maps to all the right controls. I'm not gonna have enough characters. Uh. Gate. Let's just do KPR. Gate, 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 kaboom. Gate, kaboom. Nailed it. Stare. So it's gate, kaboom. Yes. Ah, okay. Your gatekeeper is moving to my little town of Little Root. I get it now. Better. Hell yeah, look at us in all of our beautiful pixelated glory. Oh, we're, we're, we're a handsome looking man. I mean, we're like 10, so I probably shouldn't say that or being thrown in prison. <laughs> Scratch that from the record, please. Your Honor, I take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Huzzah! Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Uh, no thank you, sir. Stranger danger and all that. My mom always said to never go to strange, you know, strange men into the, into their lab. <laughs> God, it's it's. I know that this game is pixelated, but like always on the like on the Game Boy and everything, it always looked slightly fuzzy. It's weird seeing this game so damn sharp, but it looks so good. It looks so gorgeous, even like compared to like modern stuff. It looks so good. At least I think so. I'm definitely looking at this game through heavy, thick fucking nostalgia glasses. But goddamn, even without them, it looks so good. Look at those crispy ass pixels. Must be tiring riding with our things in the movie truck. Did you? Oh my god, we were just riding in the back of the truck. Well, you couldn't just squeeze me between you and dad, mom? You piece of shit. There wasn't any seatbelts back there. <laughs> I was riding in there for 700 miles. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> this is our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? Nah. And yet, and, and you, oh, I thought it said you yet, you yet your own room. You get your own room, gatekeeper. Dude, yes. Let's go inside. Fuck yeah. I love the music. God, the music is so nostalgic. Oh, it brings back every good memory of my childhood. Which is like two of them. <laughs> I'm kidding, I had a good childhood. Sea Gatekeeper, isn't it nice in here too? Eh. Movers Pokemon do all the work of moving us in and cleaning up after. Oh, thank God, we don't have to do shit. This is so convenient. Gatekeeper, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad bought you a new clock. Oh, hell yeah. Belongings. <laughs> I never had those at my at our old house. <laughs> you just kept me in the garage. All I had was a newspaper to pee on. Thanks, Mom. Let's go look at our new clock. Don't, don't forget to set it. Don't forget to set it. So help me God. 
Did you set? Did you set your clocks out there? Uh, good. I'm watching. I know. <laughs> I want to go say hi to my new friends. Fine, mom, forcing me to actually do things. Fine, I'll set the clock. Better set and stop. Why would it be stopped? I mean, I mean, I, oh, I guess I probably, I probably like just put the battery in. Uh, what time is it? It is 2.01 in the morning. I should probably sleep. But, uh, fuck that shit. enough seems about right I guess I don't know <laughs> gatekeeper how do you like your new room eh I mean it's freaking enormous good everything's put away neatly uh, well of course it is well thank god my Nintendo GameCube is installed already will the house come with it do I got a computer oh fuck yeah what is this a uh, 486 hell yeah Oh, dude, I got that AdLib gold card. Oh, I'm fucking baller, dude. When did this game come out? Like, 90, 90-something? 90 dude, I can put decorations in my room? Oh, I just toss. I just, just, oh, fine. Can't do anything. Let's play some, let's play some GameCube. Dude, can I play Luigi's Mansion? from inside of Pokemon Emerald, inside of RetroArch. Oh, I forgot you could do that. I forgot you could connect to uh, Game Boy Advance to the GameCube and use that as a controller. Oh God, that brings back so many memories. Oh, I never did that because I didn't have the Game Boy Advance. I had the Game Boy Advance SP, the clamshell with the sexy screen. Well, the original one I had was a silver one with the uh, front lit screen. People will say, oh, it has a backlit screen. Not all game, uh, game Boys do. The, like, just plain old Game Boy, the uh, AGS model 001, the plain old boring ass Game Boy, it has a front lit screen. It's uh, on the screen uh, for that model, on, like, the bottom underneath the bezel is a light that flashes uh, that, um, that lights up the front of the screen. And then there's a reflective backing behind the screen that reflects the light back through the pixels so it, it looks nice, but it wasn't a, it isn't a true backlit display so those colors really pop more. Because the, the, the light is on the front of the display, it has to bounce through the pixels and then bounce off of the reflective backing then back again through the pixels so a lot of that color is just lost. It doesn't look as sharp. But then you get the, the AGS-101, and by golly, it's so sexy. It's basically this, but on, on this. It looks really, really sharp, and I love it. It was worth the money to buy this. Uh, I don't remember where I put my original Game Boy. Uh, I think it's probably my parents' storage somewhere, and I want to go find that. Oh, Gatekeeper, Gatekeeper, quick, come quickly. What? Look, it's Piddleburg Gym. Maybe Dad'll be on. Okay, great. We brought you this report from in front of Piddleburg Gym. Wow, Mom, thanks for wasting my fucking time. Hello, bro. Ah, Professor Birch. Well, he's, a, he's like a nerdy guy. <laughs> the professor is away on field work. And go, he isn't here. Do I sound fancy? Do I get all the ladies? Well, let me explain what field work is. Oh god, no, please. <laughs> it's working in the field. It is to study, adjust glasses, things in the natural environment, like fields and mountains, <laughs> instead of a laboratory. <laughs> the professor isn't one for doing desk work. He's the type of person who would go rather go outside and experience things than read about them here. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh god, dude, wipe your nose, for fuck's sake. <laughs> hmm. 
Well, he's not here. Who's this? Oh, this is his, this is his house. So really, can this even, I don't even think this is a be considered a town. There's like two people that live here. <laughs> or I guess three. I don't know, there's like barely any people. You have a daughter about the same age as you, dude. They're talking about May. And in like eight years when she's legal, because she's probably like 10, she'll be thick. Our daughter was excited about making a new friend. Because there's literally nobody else in this godforsaken town, so she'd finally have another human being to speak with that's outside of her blood pool, or the, her gene pool, excuse me. <laughs> well, let's go say hi to her. Let's hope she's naked. Oh, dude, let's go steal her shit. Oh, I, 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 hey, hey, I wasn't doing anything. Hey, hey. She just walks into some strange kid just stealing her shit, like pocketing her Pokeball. Huh? Who the fuck are you? Oh, you're gatekeeper. So your move was today. Um, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I. I have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. <laughs> you're just like, okay, that's great. That's really great. Just gonna. Just gonna get something else to do. I I heard about you, Gatekeeper, from my dad, Professor Birch. I was hoping that you would be nice, Gatekeeper, and that we could be friends. No. What gave you that impression, stupid bitch? No, I'm kidding. Oh, this is silly, isn't it? I I've just met you, Gatekeeper. Dude, she already crushing on us. I mean, then again, that just proves how intelligent she is, because she knows. That there's a very limited fish in, in the sea of this tiny little town. Uh, <laughs> so, the pickings are slim, what can I say? <laughs> oh god, the only other person that's not inside of her family tree is my 50 year old mom, so. That ain't gonna work. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. I was supposed to go help dad catch some wild Pokemon. Gatekeeper, I'll catch you later. Don't, don't mind me, I'm just... So you were gonna go help your dad catch some Pokemon, but you're just gonna say, fuck that. It's May's Pokeball. No, I wanna, I wanna steal her shit. No, uh, well, I'm gonna go a little bit long on this episode, because it is the first one, so. Oh, well, let's go find where the hell Professor Birch is, that, you dangus. Hello, little girl. Um, hi. There's scary Pokemon outside. I can hear their cries. I want to go see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you go see what's happening for me? You know, because you also have no Pokemon, and I don't want to get maimed by Velociraptors. So, can you do it for me? Thanks. Fine, fuck you. What the hell? Oh, shit. Oh god, you okay there, bro? Oh no. Hello, you over there, please help. It's in my bag. There's a Pokeball. Bye. <laughs> Just leave. Oh yeah. No hesitation. Torchic. Best Pokemon starter ever. I will fight you. If you say there's a better Pokemon starter in any generation, I'm sorry, my baby. I will fight you. Torchic is superior because Blaziken is awesome. He fucking kicks you at fire feet. That's awesome. So freaking amazing. But we don't have any fire shit yet. Just got scratch and growl. I'm gonna scratch the fuck out of you, dude. Ow! Do not tackle me, sir. I'll scratch you right back. Watch out! Ow! You suck, dude. <laughs> it's, a, it's a crying shame that you did. <laughs> gotcha. Fuck yeah, dude. We're leveling up. Well, not yet. Whew. I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me. Thanks a lot, dude. Oh. Hi, you're Gatekeeper. No, I'm not. This isn't the place to chat, so come by my Pokemon lab later, okay? Or, you know, right literally now. So, Gatekeeper, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. Well, I do now. But the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with, with 
A plumb. A plumb. That a word? Huh. A plumb. Noun. Self confidence or assurance, especially when in a demanding situation. Huh. I learned a thing. Congratulations, so did you. Didn't know that was a thing. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. <laughs> I sure hope so. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, thanks for rescuing me. I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. Sweet, dude. I got the fucking Torchic. Do you want to give a nickname to the Torchic? Ooh. I sure do. I'm gonna name him Spicy Boy. I wish I could just type this with the keyboard. That'd be so nice. Uh, spicy. Uh, spicy. Spicy. Spicy boy. Hell yeah. There he is. Beautiful name. My kid May is also studying Pokemon while helping me out. Gatekeeper, don't you think it might be a good idea to go see May? Nope. <laughs> oh, don't be that way. You should go meet my kid. No. <laughs> I just been just in a never-ending loop. <laughs> Great! Glad you finally see it in my way. <laughs> Great, May should be happy to. Get May to teach you what it means to be a trainer. Fine, you fucking asshole. Hello, don't mind me barging in. God dang it, where is she? Can I go hack into her computer? I'm him. Here we go, Route 101, bro. <laughs> Oh god, so peaceful. Now we're in Old Dale. Hello, people. How you doing? When Pokemon battle, they eventually level up and become stronger. Thanks! I, I, I hope you know, I have played a Pokemon game before. I'm quite aware of how that works. If the Pokemon with you become stronger, you'll be able to go farther away from here. Great. Such riveting dialogue from you two. Have a nice day. Hello, sir. You look like... What do you look like? Who's the, who's the guy who used to do all those, like, jazzercise, like, VHS workout tape? Phil Simmons? Jacob Simmons? It was something Simmons. Richard Simmons. That's the guy I'm thinking of. He looks like Richard Simmons. He's a good man. Hi, I work at a Pokemon Mart. You have a Pokemart? I can get you to come with me? No, you cannot, sir. No, please. <laughs> he just like he like lassos me with one of those like loop things you used to get like feral dogs and shit. <laughs> She's like, oh please. <laughs> this is a Pokemon Mart. Just call the Pokemart. Just look for a blue roof. We sell a variety of goods, including Pokeballs for catching Pokemon. Dude, if a strange man comes up to you and, t and shows you the location of a place to buy balls, call the police. <laughs> That's not okay. No means no. Here, I'd like you to have this as a promotional item. I Whatever balls you're trying to give me, sir, I'd like you to stuff them back in your pants. <laughs> I'm 10 years old, dude. I don't need needing to see your balls, please. Oh, thank God, it's just a potion. Oh, thank God, I, I was worried for a second there. Gatekeeper put the potion away. A potion can be used anytime. Okay, I get it. Okay, bye. Ah, wait, please don't come in here. I just discovered the footprints of a, the footprints of a rare Pokemon. Wait until I finish sketching them. Okay. Gee, fine, okay. I'll, I'll go. This way. Uh, this, okay, now let's go say hi to May. There she is. Sup, baby? Let's see. Pokemon found in Route 103 include... Oh, jeez. Oh, hi, Gatekeeper. Oh, I see. My dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. That's an awesome gift. If we got a freaking Torchic or literally any Pokemon as a gift, that'd be awesome. It's like if, it's like if you moved into a new town... And like 
some random doctor just like gives you a dog that has the power to like set shit on fire. That would be pretty awesome, not gonna lie. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. No, I got shit to do. Um, I really don't wanna. Okay, you're gonna make me fucking fight you, aren't you? It's fine. It's not like I need to go set up my passport in this new city or anything. I didn't need to make my appointment. It's fine. Ah, shit, you got fucking mud kit. If you, if you aren't aware, water is not good to fire. Fire do not like water. Water be bad. And Mudkip is a water boy. So he's not good for a spicy boy. Oh, you're gonna growl at him. Grrr. Nailed it. It was a tackle fall. Like uh, Dingus. Ow. Oh, well, scratch him. Sir. Way. Hey. Buddy, 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 could you not with that, please? Gonna have to ask you to stop with the sass. Do not fucking die. Tortic, I swear to God, you're my baby boy. You trim my damn mustache again. Joke's on you, bitch. I got a free potion. I'll live forever. Scratch him. Slicey dicey. <laughs> bye bye, boy. Icy Boy gained 69 XP in the nights. Spicy Boy grew to level 6. Fuck yeah, dude. Moving up in the world. I just kicked the shit out of me. She's just like, wow. That's great, Gatekeeper. You're pretty good. She's just like fucking steam coming out of her ears. She's so furious with us. I hurt my teeth. Ow. I was grinning my teeth too hard. Oh uh, god, I'm gonna need dentures. Mm, it's good. Dude, I got 300 bucks. Hell yeah. I'll, I've always wondered what, like, the polka dollars or whatever the hell their currency is uh, when you convert it to um, US dollars. I'm sure it's probably, I mean, it's, it was, you know, it's Nintendo, so it's probably just like yen. So if it's 300. That's what, like three dollars or something, give or take. I don't know. Um, I think I know what my dad has an eye at for you now. Because you're a, a supple young boy. <laughs> oh God, uh, FBI, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> I myself am a supple old boy. <laughs> just without the supple part. <laughs> uh, I mean, you just got that Pokemon, but it already likes you. Oh, it's del so delightful. You might be able to befriend any kind of Pokemon easily. Like, eventually, my favorite Pokemon, Rayquaza. He is by far the coolest goddamn Pokemon ever to exist. I love him. Can you tell that I am heavily biased towards this game? Literally any other Pokemon game on the planet ain't got shit. I love it. I love it so freaking much. Well, let's go head back to lab. These are just like little mounds you can just hop over. Zoop. So fun. I love everything about this game. And, like, frankly, pretty much all the Pokemon games are just wonderful. He's still dying. Yeah, he is. He's, like, fine. The okay, Keeper over here. Let's hurry home. Okay, I, I, would, I was in the process of hurrying home until you stopped me, you cuck. And... Sweet... You know what I just wondered? There was that giant moving truck. How the hell did they get through here? Where did they come from? <laughs> There's like no roads. <laughs> they just like air drop us down through like a freaking like cargo plane or some shit. How do we get here? <laughs> that makes no sense. Uh, I guess we're going to the lab. Go say hello to Professor Birch. Okay, well, the game's moving for us. Oh, hi, Gatekeeper. I heard you beating man on your first try. You piece of shit. You've beaten my daughter. He beats the shit out of us. I'm oh, taking shit to beat my daughter. <laughs> like, oh, God. <laughs> it's just like, this game gets, like, really fucking dark <laughs> real quick. That's excellent. May's been helping with my research for a long time. 
May has an extensive history as a trainer already. Hey, here, Gatekeeper. I ordered this for my research, but eh, I think you should have this Pokedex. You know, this, like, $1,500 ex very expensive piece of technology. I was gonna use it for my research as a world-renowned Pokemon professor, but fuck that shit. I'm just gonna go play Kino at the old folks' home for the rest of my life. I'm just gonna retire at, at age 35. Here you go, have this incredibly powerful, awesome technology thing. I got the fucking Pokedex. The Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. Super cool. My kid, May, goes everywhere with it. Okay, you can just say, you can just say May. I get that she's your kid. We get it, Doc. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon and records its data in the Pokedex, why, May looks for me while I'm out. Doing field work and shows me. Oh wow, Gatekeeper, you got a Pokedex too? I only have like 81575 Pokemon. 181575 Pokemon, that's, that's, that's a number. Just take my word on it. <laughs> that's great, just like me. I've got something for you too. She just like whips out her tits and she's like, oh, 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 dude. <laughs> or she gives me her balls. I mean, I, is it, is, I don't know if I want them. Are they used by chance? <laughs> oh yeah, it's a Pokeball, so we can go, we can go catch more Pokemon. Fuck yeah! If I find any cute Pokemon, I'll catch them with Pokeballs. Bye. <laughs> Later, bitches. I'm out. <laughs> Ah, crap. Let's hope I can sneak past my mom. Wait, Gatekeeper. Don't leave. Gatekeeper, Gatekeeper, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Very much so. Oh, what an adorable Pokemon that you got for, for free. Those things cost like $815,000. $815,000. Like, damn. You got it from Professor Birch. How nice. You're your father's child, all right. You look good together with Pokemon. Here, honey, if you're going out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. They'll put a zip in your step. What are you, sponsored by them? <laughs> Gatekeeper, these shoes came with instructions. I just love this. Every time in a video game when they go from, Oh, your Pokemon looks so adorable, and yay, uh, this Pokedex is really cool because it'll keep track of your Pokemon to press the B button while wearing the shoes to run faster, and press the X button to open your menu. <laughs> it's, it's start, actually, is, is, is the button. The Game Boy only had two buttons. Uh, yeah, so you literally it makes you run faster. Blah, 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 yes, 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 father's overjoyed. Yeah, 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 I'm never coming home. Bye, Mom. <laughs> ah, fuck. You gotta be careful if we start running through the grass. Oh, it's a Wurmple! Look at him, he's adorable. That's what your dick will look like if you have sex before marriage, boys. It looks like a Wurmple. All the warts. Don't oh, ask how I know. <laughs> oh, let's fucking kill this bitch. Scratch. Oh god, don't shoot your goo at me. Oh, that's my job. <laughs> I am the shooter of the goo, sir. He's dead. Oh yeah, dude, level 7, here we go. Focus energy. Great. Totally useful thing. I literally never use it. Hey, buddy. Okay, literally, I get that. Yeah. It. Oh. Yeah, no Pokemon. <laughs> uh. Oh, thank God, he's, he's gone. I finished sketching the footprints of a rare Pokemon. Which one was it? Is it like Lugia or something? Turns out they were only my own footprints. What a dumbass. You stupid moron. Ha <laughs> ha. Stupid. So now comes the part of the game where we actually have trainers to deal with. Let's see, is there any cool Pokemon? 
I just found like a freaking like Arceus right here. <laughs> oh, it's not a worm pork. Ooh, it's level four though. Ooh. It's tempting, but nah. I'm gonna wait until I get a little bit like farther before I start catching Pokemon. Ah, shit, it's gonna be like, hey, bro, wanna fight? If you have any Pokemon with you, then you're an official Pokemon trainer. Well, I'm not. You have no proof? You can't say no to my challenge? I most certainly can, sir. <laughs> you fucking rapist. <laughs> no means no. Youngster Calvin would like to battle. I'm just battling like some like, toddler. <laughs> Go, spicy boy. Scratch him. Yeah. Oh, critical hit. Hell yeah. He used Howl. Howl. Spicy boy will... And I'll scratch him again. Scratch his eyes. He doesn't need him. Level up, bro. Ah. Sweet. I beat the shit out of this kid. I got 80 bucks. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm profiting big time off of these kids. Hey, bro. Aha! Our eyes met. I'll take you on with my bug Pokemon. Oh, God, please, anything but that. At least not until I get fire type moves. Then you're fucked. <laughs> bug Catcher Rick was sent out a worm pole. Ugh. Gross. Alright, we'll scratch him. Scratch him and patch him. Oh, stop it. Don't. Could you not with the goop? Could you not with the goop? Yeah. Scratch my way out of the goop. Stop. No, not the goopy goo. Ew. Stop making my speed fall, you ass. Pardon me, sir. If you could go fuck yourself, that would be just a life. Well, I'll do it for you. Bye. Level 8, bro. No, I get Ember. Is it level 9 or something? Oh, God, I got another one? Uh, fine. Scratch. Ah, oh, God, my speed's still low because of the freaking water worm pull. Haha! <laughs> attack is higher, you fool! You dang fool! Scratch him. Haha! <laughs> you did. <laughs> you did, son. I just completely destroyed this child. That's a good sentence. <laughs> Are you a trainer? You're just a guy. And he's just a guy. The grass goes up my nose and. A flachu! Good talk, buddy. Bye. Oh, god damn. See, I knew he was gonna be there, so I went as far away from him as he would have gotten triggered by me. It's over here. Is there anything that is useful? Nope, bunch of bullshit. That's what it is. So now we're going to Pedalburg. I'm gonna go see my dad. Let's go fuck up this trainer. Hello, small child. Prepare to get your ass brutally handed to you on a silver platter. Last Tiana would like to battle. <laughs> well, she better like to lose. Spicy boy's gonna kick your ass. Scratch him. Don't you tackle me, sir. That's rude. All I'm doing is trying to just brutally kill you. Oh boy, I'm I'm hurting for a squirting. It's not good. But we're level nine, so all is well. God damn, when do I learn Ember? Oh, level ten. This would have been the perfect time to have learned Ember, so I could have brutally raped this poor little shroomish with my super awesome fire moves. Oh, God, Absorb, no. Sir, we only got one. <laughs> he got one point of damage from me. <laughs> Stupid. Don't you know your, your type matches whatever? Your type advantages? It's like a term. The, 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 the name for the fact that some types are better or worse than other types. Is the name for that. I ended up furthering your career. And I ended up stopping yours. Dead in its heels. Loser. 
All right, let's go, let's go, let's go revive my boy. I mean, he's not dead, but he might as well be. Oh my God, look at this rotund little bastard. I appreciate this Pokemon story session. Oh, so fat. I don't know why he became Sean Connery all of a sudden. Whoever made it must be some kind of a scientific wizard. Yes. Please put it right in my asshole. Yes. Junior. <laughs> uh, rest in peace, Sean Connery. You were awesome. Uh, your torture is a fire type. It's type advantages. That's the thing I was thinking of. It's strong against the grace and bug types. But it's weak against water type. Yeah, I know that. You, you think I have some sort of idiot this girl play Pokemon game? <laughs> you fucking loser. Sweet. Just shoot him full of morphine. Good to go. Good as new. Slap a bandaid on that sucker and we'll get right back out into the war zone. Oh, hello, sir. Look at you, dapper fellow. Oh, let's say you have six Pokemon. If you catch another one, <laughs> his ultimate goes into a storm bubble. Oh, oh. It's just incredibly fancy. Yeah, there's the PC storage of Pokemons. Well, let's go talk to my dad. Look at this guy. He's got like the freaking horrible widow's peak. Not a good look, dad. Just get rid of it. Well, if it isn't Gatekeeper, so you're all finished moving in? No. We had like two boxes to our name, so it was pretty easy, Dad. I'm surprised you managed to get here all by yourself. I mean, I didn't. I came with Mom, stupid. Oh, I see. You're with your Pokemon. Oh, like to the building. Durr. Oh, uh, hmm. Then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, Gatekeeper. That's great news. I'll be looking forward to it. Hi. Hello, Wally. Um, I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Um, you're, uh, oh, oh, right, you're Wally, right? I'm not gonna answer that. I'm gonna stay with my relatives in Verdon Turf's town. I thought it would be lonely by myself, so I wanted to get a Pokemon to bang. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Security! Gatekeeper, you heard that shit, right? You know how fucking weird this dude is? Good, I'm, not, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Go with Wally and make sure that he safely catches a Pokemon. You see, Gatekeeper, I want you to take care of it. Capiche? <laughs> Wally, here, I'll loan you my Pokemon. Wally received a Zigzagoon. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, wow, Pokemon! I'm just gonna steal yours! <laughs> Bye! He just leaves. Hmm. I'll give you a Pokeball too. Go for it. Wally received the Pokeball. Sweet. Oh wow, thank you. Gatekeeper, would you really come with me? No. I don't have a choice now, do I? Do 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 Gatekeeper, Pokemon hide in tall grass like this. I know how to do this. Please watch me and see if I can catch one properly. Whoa! Give me a waltz. My god! It's like I watched, it's like I played this a million times. Wild Ralts appeared. Go zigzagoon! It's literally just gonna be like, this is how you catch the Pokemon. I'm not, even, I'm not even doing anything. It's just doing it. It's, it's playing by itself. That's how good at this game I am, didn't you know? I don't even need to use my hands. I can control it with my mind. Quick, quick, quick. Think of a number. Think of a number between 1 and 10. I'm gonna guess it. Six. Six. That's your number. I bet like two of the people watching this are gonna be like, Holy shit, he's psychic! <laughs> uh, congratulations, you caught a Ralts. You're gonna become one of the biggest pain in my asses later in the game. I did it! It's my. My. My Brussels! How wants the Brussels? 
Love is our tulsa, so sweet. So sweet. <laughs> it just turns into Smeagol. <laughs> Mom. My love. My precious. It's like, okay, Wally, I gotta go literally anywhere that is within restraining order distance of you. So, if you could back up like 150 feet, that'd be just great with me. So did it work out? Thank you, yes it did. Here's your Pokemon back. Thank you, I was worried you were gonna just steal that shit, you asshole. Gatekeeper, thank you for coming along with me. You two are why I was able to catch my Pokemon. I promise I'll take really good care of it. I don't, just, just please leave. Oh, my mom's waiting for me, so I gotta go. Bye! Bye, Gatekeeper. Toodles. Now, wasn't that some shit, huh, bro? Now, Gatekeeper, if you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Just get good. <laughs> Head for Rustboro City, just beyond this town. There, you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go on to other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders. Collect badges from them. Understood? Of course, I'm a gym leader, too. We'll battle one day, Gatekeeper. You're a normal type. It's actually pretty, pretty difficult. Mostly because it's later in the game, so his, his Pokemon are higher level. That's only after you become stronger. You have to become strong. Strong boy. Right, bye, Dad. <laughs> bye, Dad. <laughs> I'll tell Bob you say hi, Dad. I love you, Daddy. It's like, oh, God. Why is my kid... No, please, stop. Uh, let's save that data, shall we, dudes? Warning. There is a different save game file that is already saved. If you save now, the other files adventure, including items and Pokemon, will be entirely lost. Are you sure you want to save now and override your other save file? Oh, okay. Meow. Hi, baby. Hi, Clara. My cat is so cute. Eek, you sweetie girl. Eek, you sweetie girl. We did it. We saved the day. We got what's his tits of fucking Pokemon, and uh, we got we got a Torchic. We got our, our baby boy, Spicy Boy. He's he's a good he's a good boy, the best boy, frankly. I will fight you if you say he's a bad boy. He is the most good boy you've ever seen. Kill yourself. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I freaking love this game. Two bits. It is by far my favorite game, hands down, out of every console, every manufacturer, every company, every game developer. Pokemon Emerald for the Game Boy Advance is hands down my favorite. I love it, and I'm, I'm so happy that I'm able to share it with you guys. I really hope you enjoy it. Um, but yeah, I am going to go ahead and end this episode here, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And uh, make sure if you see Wally out there, just um, just run, just run. He's uh, he's a bit uh, insane in the membrane, shall we say? So, but uh, yeah, I love it. Such a great game, best game, ten out of ten. No. 11 out of 10. Yeah. So fucking good. I love it. One of the best games ever, in my opinion. It holds up really well, even to this day. Story is so cool. The Pokemon is... Just... just all of the Pokemon are so cool. Especially when you start getting the legendaries. They are so cool. I love it. So much, so. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here, guys. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye